This is the third battle between Panda Warrior and the Prussian Prince. Greenskins versus Bretonia. Bretonia is sort of an underdog faction, but they can do some nasty things. So let's see here. Uh, a few units over here of uh, Goblin Wolf Riders. Black Orcs, Big Guns, Savage Orcs, Big Guns, Black Orcs. A lot of infantry. Asag the Slaughterer. Orc Shaman on a boar. For Bretonia, we have the uh, Pegasus and Leon Coeur Death Squad. Two Pegasus or yeah, two two Pegasus units. Uh, Louis Leon Coeur, we have a sneaky little unit over here. Then we have a Paladin. So you can tell, you can tell that the Prussian Prince wants to go and snipe some characters. Because, let's see if I can get them, yeah, they, they're Louis, Louis Leon Coeur has abilities that reduce damage to nearby units by a significant amount, especially when you consider that these, pa uh, these um, Pegasus Knights already have a bit of armor on them. Also, a lot of cheap infantry, spare men at arms, uh, cost-effective Knights of the Realm, peasant bows, and men at arms with halberds. This is a very interesting Bretonia army. And in total War Warhammer, orcs and goblins lack spears, which they do not lack in the base game. So here we go. <laughs> Pegasus Death Squad. Only one unit of Pegasus knights. Using Spirit of Biuna. Fate of Buna. So these guys are taking a lot of damage. See, there we go, the protective bubble of uh, the Leon Coeur. But the Pegasus Knights lost a bunch of health there. But look, ooh, look at uh, look at Asag here losing health quickly. Yeah, he won't be able to get away. He is too slow, much too slow. And of course, the orcs and goblins without the ability. Uh, Prussian Prince is chasing away a few uh, goblin wolf riders with his knights of the realm. Losing the general early on, especially when it's such an important general. Very bad for, uh, very, very bad for um, the Greenskins. So Asag is trying to land, which, of course, is... A Usually it's a bad idea with flyers, but here it also means that these units need to land. And it means that the Orc Boar Biggins can help Asag, but it's too late. Asag is broken and he's going to get killed relatively quickly. So, once again, uh, we saw Panda Warrior... Use uh, we, uh, we we've seen we've seen the Prussian prince use similar tactics before. If you have the ability to go and kill the enemy general quickly, do so. And part of what makes Bretonia an underdog, but also a quite decent faction, uh, they have sturdiness going for them. 40, 40 uh, armor, shielded spearmen at arms, and if you keep Louis Leoncourt or Luan Leoncourt. Uh, if you keep him close to these engagements, you can expect units to hold out for a long time. Pegasus Knights didn't do too much. They tanked some damage for their liege. Spare at arms getting hammered by Black Orcs and Orc Biggins from all sides. Azag has come back, but uh, he is one swipe of the paw away from getting killed. Too slow. King Luan, of course, has the regeneration. Exceptionally useful to have a character with re regeneration. The paladins are. This is sort of annoying. Foe Seeker, Deadly Onslaught, vanilla abilities. Uh, far too few specialized abilities for these units, but. Uh, they are holding, holding off the onslaught of the orcs. 
They have done their part in, in chasing down Asag and now Asag is getting chased away. So the, the flying general for the Orcs and Goblins, remember what I said in the previous video, um, Orcs and Goblins uh, or any faction with just a flying general is at a huge risk if they bring that flying general against a faction that has good flyers. Bretonia has good flyers. You won't be able to protect your general very well at all. So now the Bretonians are running up the hill. The Paladins got killed. They got some killing done against the Orcs and Goblins, but... Uh, well, there, there is a Paladin still alive here. In the Sea of Green. And Asag is off the field. King Luan is coming to join the fray. The Knights of the Realm have mostly been killing Goblin Wolf Riders for the time being. Decent shock cavalry. And the Boar Boy Biggins are trying to deny the Bretonians the, the high ground. But it's going to be difficult. There are a lot of spears around. Oui, oui. Mon dieu. Mon dieu and my ladies, they are casting their curses on us. Games Workshop being a British company, you kind of have to wonder whether them making the Bretonians technologically backwards. Um, whether that was just to mess with the French a bit. So nice downhill charge here by the uh, Orc Boar Boy Biggins. That enabled these Black Orcs to get into the fray. So nice sacrificial move there by the Boar Boy Biggins, although they get halberded and speared to death. King Luan is doing things few other characters can do. Charging into the main engagement. He has a resistance against damage. He has regeneration and for late game situations that regeneration is just immense so being able to fight downhill great for the Prussian Prince I was charging into the back of these two orc units uh, orc units without their general so even the black orcs are struggling with their morale now Really nicely done here by the Prussian Prince. The main body of Panda Warriors Army is is down here. And the Prussian Prince has done a really good job in splitting off Panda, taking care of his taking care of his general. And I'm I'm uh, sure he's pretty pretty happy at this point. Being it's not often someone is able to come out on top against the panda warrior and i'm fairly certain that this battle is going the prussian prince's way i've been wrong before but at this point panda warrior is downhill doesn't have a general the prussian prince has quite a few skirmishes left he has cavalry left there's just no way for panda warrior Got, got a few kills there. These Grail Knights will be great for mopping up units. I care making sure that these Black Orcs do not come back. And decisive victory for the Bretonians. Great, great battle by, by the Prussian Prince there. Very focused, very nice. Uh, he exploited one of the few weaknesses of the green skins masterfully, in my opinion. It's a bit of a gamble, but you basically know if if let's just have a look at something here. Um, let's just have a look at something. If you look at the orcs and goblins green skins here, uh, you could just take Asag on foot and then 
taking Assad as uh, taking Assad the slaughter on foot. That Pegasus Death Squad would be somewhat less useful. So I'm just going to suggest something here. Just a little, little, little suggestion. Uh, let's take out the giant. Maybe, just for fun. Would like to try this. Uh, or maybe like to try... Something like that. But Bretonia is, is sort of a... Uh, it's not the best matchup for the Orcs. Uh, you could... Bretonia, although Bretonia's roster is severely limited. Uh, what they can do, they can do reasonably well. They can snipe enemy... They can snipe enemy characters. Relatively easily. Uh, so... Royal Pegasus... This, this is a character death squad. Because the abilities that I meant to show previously, uh, the Blessing of the Lady, 12% damage resistance. 12% might not seem like much, but it's something. And uh, let's see here, Beloved Son of Bretonia, effect, affects allies in range. Immune to psychology, of course, helps. Uh, but he does have regeneration somewhere, I'm fairly certain of that. Let's see. Where's the regeneration stuff? Uh, fear, terror, missile resistance. Yep, there we go. Ladies champion, he has regeneration. So, Bretonia taking on one of the most powerful factions in the game and coming out on top. Pretty cool stuff. Strength and armor.